Hi, I'm Holly and I'm a master's student here at UCL studying public archaeology and this is your next vlog in the Get to Know the Team series and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about me and my experiences and about the festival in general. I'd say my favourite general topic is education. I'm really interested in how we can interact with the public and get more people involved and get the word of archaeology out there and see who else likes it as much as we do. So in my undergrad at Southampton, I did some of my practice digs in different places around England and then we went out to a site called Portus, which is just outside of Rome in Italy. And I did three weeks out there, which was really amazing and was probably my favourite place to dig. I always loved history. History was like my thing at school. And I went to an archaeology history lecture at an open day at uni and I realised that as much as I like history, it's the people I love and the things they left behind and like figuring it out from that. And so I like immediately ditched history and that's really randomly how I got into archaeology but I'm really pleased. Often when I say I do archaeology, people don't know what that means. So there's often a lot of explaining and denying that I'm like Indiana Jones. So in the World Archaeology Festival, my main role is working as part of the activities development team. So we've been creating all the activities and we've researched them and it's a really exciting stage now because we have them all finalized and we get to practice them ourselves. And then also I'm in a sub team for marketing and communication and we've created the website, the Facebook, the Twitter, and we're just working on finalizing the posters and stuff now. It's quite a nice mixture of things to be doing. I'd say the favorite part of my my role in the activities team would be sort of the creativity that we have so we literally had no restrictions when we started and we could just go out there and pick anything and turn it into an idea and that was really fun and we've come up with the biggest range of activities. A little bit of insider information for our first DIY video which you might have seen and if not you should check it out. We made a um, medieval mouthwash and it was really good fun it tasted surprisingly good we all had a try Although Lisa, who was the mouth at the end, <laughs> we had to shoot it a lot of times, so she ended up drinking the entire jug of the medieval mouthwash, and I don't think it tasted so nice after that. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any comments or queries for me, leave them down below, and we'll get back to you. And there's also some links down there to the website if you want any more information. You should subscribe if you want to see some of the other videos I'm making and meet some of my other team members. Bye! I hate saying that. <laughs> wow. What do you do when you slouch? Uh, please. <laughs> no, you're tricking me. There's no red light on the front side. Ah. Sorry, mom. It's okay, keep going. Ah, keep going. I want to start again.